Wombats, native Australian marsupials, are among the largest animals that dig holes. If we talk about the physical features of wombats, the average length of a wombat is between 31 and 47 inches, or about 80 to 120 centimeters. All wombats have short, yet strong legs and long powerful claws on their front feet that they use to dig. They also have short ears and tails and small eyes. They have teeth like rats and mice which are very sharp and they keep getting bigger as long as the animal lives. The common wombat has a rough, dark coat and a nose that is bald. The hairy-nosed wombats have soft fur, pointed ears, and a hairy nose. Wombats live in woods, alpine mountains, grasslands with little water, and shrublands along the coast. They dig holes in the ground and spend most of their time there. Wombats generally live alone but the ones with hairy nosed out with each other more. Their dens may be linked together to make a big area called a warren. They live alone in their dens, but sometimes other wombats will live there with them. They are herbivores, so most of their time is spent grazing on native grass. Wombats don't need much water because the plants they eat give them most of the water they need. They usually graze at night when their colors help them fit in, but if it's cool and cloudy, they may also eat during the day. Wombats also eat the bark on the inside of the roots of trees and shrubs. However, some people see wombats as pests because the animals dig in farmland and under fences. Also, other animals that are also seen as pests, such as rabbits, sometimes use wombat burrows as shelter. Farmers also dislike wombats because livestock can break a leg if they step into a burrow. Sadly, humans have hunted wombats for their fur in the past. They have also destroyed the wombats' habitats by clearing the land for their own use. But several programs are now in place to try to protect wombats. The Sarcoptes scabii mite, which is a parasite, causes wombat mange, which is a sickness that can kill the animal. The mite digs into its host's skin, making thick plaques that cause hair loss and open wounds. Wombats with mange can often be treated successfully if they are found early enough. Interestingly, wombats are the only marsupials with teeth that keep growing, which is thought to be an adaption to the tough plants they eat. All of a wombat's teeth, including its molars, grow all the time. Now let us talk about some of the interesting facts wombats hold in the animal kingdom. 1. Wombats come in three different kinds. There are actually three subspecies of wombat. The common wombat. The northern hairy-nosed wombat and the southern hairy-nosed wombat. All three species can only be found in Australia, including on the island of Tasmania. Common wombats, also called bare-nosed wombats, live in eastern Queensland, New South Wales, South Australia, Flinders Island, and Tasmania. The northern hairy-nosed wombats are only found in Epping Forest National Park in central Queensland. Unfortunately, only a few of them are left and they are the ones most likely to go extinct. Southern hairy-nosed wombats are usually a bit smaller than the other wombats. They live in small areas of Western Australia, Southern South Australia, and Southwestern New South Wales. One can differentiate between the three kinds by faces as. The common wombat has no hair on its nose, but the other two do. Its ears are also smaller and have more fur than those of the hairy-nosed wombat. Two, secondly, people have seen them bite. In fact, not much is known about the mating practices of wombats. But researchers have found that when it's time to mate, they bite the rump of the other sexes. As far as common wombats are concerned, the males will chase the female around in loops until she slows down enough for him to bite her behind. In contrast, when the females of southern hairy-nosed wombats are most fertile, they tend to bite the bottom of a male. Scientists are happy about this discovery and hope that it will help them do a better job of breeding wombats in captivity so that the southern hairy-nosed wombat and the highly endangered northern hairy-nosed wombat will not go extinct. 3. Their pouches face backward. Another surprising, yet enchanting fact of wombats is that unlike other marsupials like kangaroos, wombats have pouches that open in the opposite direction. Most of the time, wombats only have one baby at a time, called joeys, who are born after about a month of being in the belly. 
When the young are born, they are not fully grown. So, right after their birth, they crawl from their mother's birth tube into her pouch, which is about the size of a jelly bean, where they grow and develop for 6 to 10 months. Interestingly, this backward-facing pouch is helpful for these animals because it protects their baby from dirt and sticks while their mother digs in the ground. 4. Wombat poop is in the shape of a cube. One of the most unusual facts about wombats is that they are the only animals in the world to produce poop which is cubic in shape. They make a lot of poop, about 80 to 100 on average per night. Interestingly, they use their poop to mark their territory, like the entrances to their burrows. They have a long digesting process as it takes wombats 14 to 18 days to absorb the most nutrients from their food, which also makes their poop very dry. The particular reason behind this shape is their unique intestine whose walls stretch out in different ways to make the poop look like a cube. 5. They are daytime burrow dwellers. Like owls, wombats are mainly nocturnal and crepuscular creatures. They stay in their underground homes during most of the day and only come out for about 8 hours at night. However, they change their routines with the seasons. In the summer, they stay inside during the day. While in the cooler months, they sometimes go out in the afternoon, lie out in the sun outside of their dens to sunbathe and warm up on sunny winter days. 6. Wombats are great at digging holes. Wombats are great architects as their homes are hard to break into. Thanks to their short legs and sharp claws, and their super sharp front teeth which can cut through anything that gets in their way. Wombats build dens which may be linked together to make a big area called warrens. Each warren consists of many tunnels of over 200 meters long and several openings. At each entrance, they dig a small hole with their front paws and leave the cave backwards so that dirt doesn't get collected at the opening. Wombats are usually solitary animals. That is why they live alone, and the openings to their burrows are usually only big enough for one animal. However, when wombats aren't around, other animals like rock wallabies, bettongs, skinks, and even little penguins sometimes use the network of holes to hide underground from predators. During bushfires also, tunnels stay cool, offering protection to animals from the flames. 7. They have teeth like rodents. As we mentioned earlier, wombats have super sharp teeth that never stop growing. Nonetheless, they keep their teeth at the right length by chewing on local grasses, bark, and roots while they eat and make their habitat. They grip and tear even tree wood with their rodent-like teeth and very strong jaws. There is a special muscle in the wombat's stomach which helps to break down such tough food. 8. They are at risk. Unfortunately, these adorable marsupials are on the verge of extinction especially. The northern hairy-nosed wombat followed by the southern hairy-nosed wombats. The northern hairy-nosed wombat is very rare because it only lives in a 1,200-acre area of Epping Forest National Park in Queensland. The number of adults is only about 80, according to estimates. The prime reason behind that is poor environment which is getting worse because of the spread of invasive grasses from other places. Researchers are working on the recovery and management of the southern hairy-nosed wombat. They will use the wombats to control predators, handle their habitat, set up areas to move the animals, and find ways to breed them in captivity. The figure for southern hairy-nosed wombat is also going down because of their continuous loss. Subpopulations of southern hairy-nosed wombats live in different places, and the size of their environment as a whole has shrunk. Nevertheless, in some places, there are a lot of wombats, which cause problems with farmers and make it hard for rabbits and animals to find food.